It's snowing. It's only tiny. Oh my gosh, there's loads of snow. The lockdown barber shop is back. The fault. A really nice distraction from lockdown. I just got some new products. We're burying up pepper. And I also wanted to update you on the drain issues. A tall snake. We're playing a game that we just discovered. What did I forget? What? Well, that's quite a good hack if you do forget your wallet. So Matt is meal prepping. One of them. Don't <laughs> lick it while it's in the plug. Excitement levels are very high at our house this morning. It's snowing and we don't think Jackson's ever seen snow in his whole life before. Wait boys, let's get all the gear on before you go. They were really picking up the snow. Oh, so exciting boys. Do you want to have some breakfast first? Look what the boys have been making with the little snow that we have. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Another half of a face yeah. here though. Give him a bit more face. Give him a Can you find some red grass? Should we give him a beard? Aye. Yay! Yay! No. We've got a carrot nose right, and boys? we've used medjool dates for the eyes <laughs> and put some little arms and a scarf on him. Look, he's only tiny. It's the best we could do with this snow. Oh my gosh, there's loads of snow on the trampoline. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's working now. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another vlog. This morning you would have seen that we had some fun outside in the snow, but after just an hour it started to rain and it's almost all gone already. But we kind of thought that was going to happen, so as soon as the kids woke up we got them straight outside and I'm so glad because they had so much fun and it was actually a really nice distraction from lockdown. But anyway, after that I was freezing cold and soaking as well, so I've just had a nice shower. Hour. and because it's the weekend I could actually have some me time and do my hair and do my makeup so I wanted to show you I just got some new products from Function of Beauty you guys already know that I love Function of Beauty and I'm so excited that they are once again partnering with me on this video so I've been using Function of Beauty um, shampoo and conditioner for about six months now and I can't imagine using anything else um, and they've also said that my viewers can have 20% of their first order so I'll leave a link in the description and if you want to test it out for yourself you can follow that link and you'll get 20% off. The really cool thing about Function of Beauty is that it's a completely customizable hair care brand so all of the products that you order are tailored for you and your hair. You just go onto their website, you do a two minute quiz and it asks you things like your hair type, your hair goals and any personalized preferences that you have. So for me I went on and said that I have very straight hair that is also very fine and that my hair goals would actually be to have more volume to replenish my hair and also
also protect it from heat because I use a curling iron on my hair. But if you had very curly hair or very oily hair, you just put that into the quiz and they will make the products depending on what you need. You can also choose the color of your products. They have so many beautiful colors that you can choose from. So you could base it on your bathroom interior if you wanted to or just a color you really love. Or you can have no color at all if that's what you want. And you can even choose the fragrance. And again, they've got so many choices. They've got things like cherry blossom, lavender. Um, in the past, I've had peach and mandarin, which I would totally recommend. It's a lovely smell. But this time, I've actually gone for eucalyptus and mint. I had a body lotion in that fragrance and it really smells so fresh. It really wakes you up in the morning and it just smells so, so good. So I would also recommend this scent and you can even choose what level of scent you want. So again, if you don't want any scent at all, you don't have to, you can get medium or I've actually gone for strong because when I do wash my hair, I kind of want to smell it. Um, and they can even put your name on the bottle. So on mine, it says function of Emily. And every time you order, you also get these really cute stickers in the box as well, which my boys love to help me put onto the bottles especially Jackson and um, so again it's customizable and they're always like updating their stickers and changing them I just love the way that these products look on our bathroom shelves they look so clean and sleek and when I see the little stickers and my name on the bottle I feel like it really is something that is just for me and more than that it just works for my hair it feels so soft and shiny I also put that one of my hair goals was to have more volume and I think it's definitely given me that because my hair is normally so so flat but they do body products as well and treatment products so this time I've actually got a hair serum because I get these little flyaways at the top of my hair and it should also give my hair some shine and protect it from heat as well. But they're just a lovely brand. Uh, they're one that I just trust. They never put any GMOs, parabens, toxins or sulfates in their products. They're 100% vegan and cruelty free as well. So if you want to test it out for yourself, I'll put the 20% off um, link in my description and and you can check it out. But speaking of hair, we're actually going to hopefully cut the boy's hair um, today at home. Obviously, you know, Matt has like barbering knowledge. He kind of knows what he's doing. So it's not been a huge problem um, when the, like they haven't had like terrible lockdown hair. I really need to get my highlights done at some stage. I might have to get Matt to like do some kind of at home kit. I don't know if I'm brave enough, but we'll just see how long this goes on for. But I'll show you the boys getting a little haircut a bit later on. Um, but now let's go see what they're up to if they're still outside. <laughs> the boys won't be defeated, even though all of the snow outside has pretty We're much safe. melted. They've managed to save some. And we saved some building the snowman. Although I don't, it might melt now it's indoors. Jackson, are you burying Peppa in there? I want to bring the snowman inside. Yeah, they said, can we put him in the freezer? No, we want to put this in the freezer. We want to put that in the freezer. Yeah, so we can keep save it some snow. We're burying up Peppa. We're burying up Peppa. We're burying up Peppa. Should we make him? Right, so I think I'm gonna make some lunch now and the boys have requested tuna sandwiches and I think I am gonna have an omelette. Got really into either having an omelette for lunch or some soup because it's really warm and it just fills me up. So I think I'm gonna have like, some red pepper and onion in an omelette. Um, and I also wanted to update you on the drain issues that we were having. If you watched my last vlog, you will know what I'm talking about. We've been having loads of problems with the drains in this house. We've had two specialists out now to have a look at them. The first guy we thought fixed it, but then within about two days, it started to back up again. So it seems like he only just pushed it like 10 meters or something. Um, and then we had another specialist out who actually put cameras down our drains to see if there was any problems. But he said that our drains are actually fine. So it's now a water board problem. So we've called our water provider. They're sending someone out today. Um, but the guy, the second guy that came, he said, because our house is at the end of like four houses drainage or something, there could be a problem like down the line and therefore it's actually like a bigger problem. So we had to call out like, the water board. <laughs> so at 
the moment they're not like as bad as they did get so we're still okay but we just want to fix it before it gets bad again um but yeah if anyone is buying a house and it is like an older house i would totally recommend having a drainage survey although i wonder because our drains are actually fine it probably wouldn't have pulled up anything but something along the line is just not working so that whole saga is still going on, so I'll update you um, as and when they arrive as well. <laughs> The lockdown barber shop is back. First customer is Fraser. He's I'm always the willing. In this <laughs> He's the only one who doesn't mind a haircut. He's actually grown his hair really long, hasn't he? Got a long fringe that he wants to keep, don't you, Bob? A little bit. Oh. Just try <laughs> just um, cutting a bit off the sides, aren't we? Whoa, Jag! What are you building? A taller snake. That's a tall snake. That's brilliant. Well, it's actually building with someone inside it. No windows. Oh, there's no windows. <laughs> you said before? You said before? Before. Right, so now we're playing a game that we just discovered and we love. Actually, a viewer told me about it. It is called Sushi, Sushi Go. Go. It's really cute, isn't it? And look at the wasabi. Look They're at the so wasabi. Cute. Yeah, and we're loving playing it as a family, yeah. aren't we? And the little dumplings. And the boys want to try sushi now, don't you? Yeah. Four, four, oh, thanks, four, bub. Five, 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 six, six, six. six. So we're still waiting for the water board to arrive. It is nearly four o'clock now and no sign of them. So I'm gonna run to the supermarket. Matt normally does the food shop, but we're still waiting for the drain guy. And I've been planning to do a slow cooker video next week. Because the weekdays are so busy now with homeschooling the kids, my plan is to now try and film on the weekend and then also do little videos um, where I film a tiny bit a day. So with the slow cooker video, I can show you each day like what we're having for dinner from the slow cooker and then that will make up one video. So I'm trying to plan like that to just fit everything in and it should be fine but I've written out all the ingredients that I need for the video but I just need to go and get it because I'd love to start it tomorrow so I'm gonna run and do that now and then come back so I'm back from the supermarket and I got everything that we needed but I obviously haven't been to the shops for a long time because everyone's trying to avoid it as much as possible but I needed to get those bits today Anyway, got to the shop, got my parking ticket, got my trolley, went in the shop, had my list out, and then I realized, why did I forget? What? What do you need when you go shopping? <laughs> Not bags. Trolley. I had them. I forgot my wallet. Shut up. <laughs> Stop it. I called him and I was like, what do I do? Um, and then One I Googled job. it. And I asked One someone. Job. I asked someone who worked. It's just been so long. I, I just completely forgot about my handbag but anyway I had my phone on me so I asked someone who worked there and she said it was fine to split my food into like two groups um, so I could pay 45 pounds and then 45 pounds on a second lot of food anyway well, that's good, got so it all but that's quite a good hack if you do forget your wallet you can um, split your food shop and just pay on your phone so that was lucky Anyway, we're just gonna put the food away. We've got some laundry to fold. Or did you do that? I did it. He did it. Well done, Daddy. And I'm then for we're just making some dinner. Well, Daddy's making, what are you making? We're having fajitas tonight. 
so that'd be nice. So Matt is meal prepping his vegan pancakes for the week. He's made a big batch and he's just gonna make the pancakes and then you can just stick it in the toaster, right? Yep, those chicken wraps are nice, don't they? <laughs> he's not vegan, but he always has, what are these, the fern cotton pancakes. Yeah. Yeah, just, so they're healthy, yeah, super healthy. Yeah, a so few days. Pancakes, no. <laughs> Making the night cookies. Yes. And we then are. And this is what we are. we are making them and then we're going to stop with chocolate. We were just about to make s'mores and then we realized that we've run out of cookies for the s'mores, but we do have a cookie mix. So we're going to make them and I think I can actually leave you boys to it. So Jackson, oh that's it. Put the water in there. Put the water. Put the batter. What is it? The batter. In it. Powder. The mix. The mix inside. It's got chocolate buttons in it. Yeah, it's got chocolate chips. Oh, stir it up. Yeah. How okay. Just start on the low. Got to stir it up. Jackson, no eating it. <laughs> Stop eating it. <laughs> It'll be done in ten exactly. minutes. Okay. Just start on the low. Yeah. That's it. Don't worry if you need yeah. more water. while it's in the plug, you'll lose your tongue, won't you? Caleb and Jackson have been busy building this lovely den. So if you come inside, <laughs> where are they? Hello. What's in Caleb there? Toys. Caleb's in there. It's magical. Caleb just went in my magic. So all the boys have had a bath. They actually really needed it after their haircuts today. And now they're playing with their den and having a movie night. So I've come into the front room, which is actually our lounge. And I'm going to do a little workout tonight. It's an ab and core workout. So it's just like on the floor, it's not too intense. So I'm gonna do that now. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car. They might drop us to rest. It was actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, but now I'm just on the treadmill for a few minutes because I need to get my steps up for the day. This treadmill used to be in our garage, but it's so cold out there, we never wanted to use it. And I have this fear of road running on my own. I used to run with a friend, but obviously at the moment, I'm not really supposed to meet up with anyone. I know you can to exercise, but this, like we've got this. So we brought it into our front room which was quite difficult to do, um, but I need to get my steps up. Basically, when I shower, I charge my watch, which tracks my steps, and this morning, I left it on charge for ages, so I don't actually know how many steps I've done. So far, it says six and a half thousand, but I tried to do 10,000 a day, and Matt is just putting Jackson to bed upstairs, so I thought I would just walk on the treadmill for a bit, watch a YouTube video or something. Um, so yeah, but hopefully, I really hope I can keep all this fitness stuff up because uh, it's only been three weeks, but I'm getting quite into it and enjoying it. So hopefully I can keep going with it. And I've got my little workout buddy over there. 
there's Caleb <laughs> and he's waiting very patiently so when daddy comes back downstairs we're all gonna play a game I think we've got really into board games lately we're gonna play sushi go oh, we've also got um, articulate for kids so I think we're gonna play one of those but they're such lovely ages obviously Caleb's seven and Fraser's ten and it's so nice to have like game nights with them so that's the plan Right guys, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. The boys are all ready to play, sneaking more cookies as well. But I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope lockdown is okay for you guys. And yeah, see you in my next one. Bye guys.